Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial. My name is Ben Morgan and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to render out an image sequence. Because in the video sequence editor and in the tracking um, feature that we now have, because an image sequence, image sequence is much more uh, preferable than a uh, movie file, uh, you'll often want to <laughs> have uh, a, uh, an image sequence. So to do that, all we have to do is go to our video editor, and that's UV editing, video editing, and add in our movie that we want reversed. Um, and, or not reversed, I'm sorry, uh, turned into a, uh, an image sequence. So you can see here I have my uh, tracking scene that I used to uh, object track that uh, those horns to my face before. Um, and I have this and I want to render it out as an image sequence. Well, if you go to our default view again and delete our cube and you press render, you'll see that it's just our normal video. And if your dimensions are the same as the original video, which is 100% uh, 12 <laughs> 1080p, uh, then all you have to do is set your output to be a PNG or a JPEG and then set it to an output output folder that you will remember. I recommend making a new folder so that your folder is not full of 250 frames of PNGs. And then all you have to do is click render animation and you will have a sequence of PNGs or JPEGs that you can then open up in your uh, motion tracker and you will much easier, it will be much more, it will be much easier to uh, use. <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk today. Okay, so yeah. Hopefully that uh, helps you guys. 